to replace your batteries. Well, I'm going to show you how to replace the batteries on my Echo wall clock. And the obvious stated is your time doesn't look right, right? Because it's not running. But the batteries are now dead in my Echo wall clock. And yes, it's been a while. The Husky has to insert herself into a video. Um, so let's go ahead and change the batteries and repair for you. Okay, real quick. She was playing with her ball, with her bone, and the air kicked on. My dog is so weird. Okay. Let's change the batteries in the wall clock. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Such a crazy dog. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Stay focused. The dog is just too cute. I can't help it. And she knows she's too cute, too. She's a brat. Okay, easy to change the batteries. Flip it over. Takes double A's. Ignore the name of the batteries that I have in here. Not a sponsored video. That would be neat, though, wouldn't it? We just really like the batteries. And then if you're always new, you can look to see where the little insignia is to tell you which battery is positive or negative, which way it needs to go. Or you could look for the little spring. That always means negative. So if you didn't know that in the past, there is a battery hack for you. I'll just make sure they're down, put the cover back on. So, hang on, let me go turn that light back on. Okay, there's a little button here, and once you put the, the batteries in, you've got to pair it again to your device. And it works like this. Flip it back around, hit this little button. Alexa? Pair my Echo wall clock. So, for some reason, the kitchen show didn't do that, but I'm not going to redo this video. So, once I asked her to pair my living room dot answer this and of course you wait till the orange starts and then once it's paired the blue light will flash and then here in a moment you will start to see that the time will reset automatically I guess she got tired and decided she needed a break <laughs> there you go that's it guys but easy peasy And then, so now it'll just keep flashing, and then you'll start, there it goes. Now, sometimes when we have a storm and power goes out, I, I do have to repair the clock again. I was surprised last night that I did not because we lost power for, I don't know, over an, well over an hour um, late. It was like one o'clock in the morning. Um, the husky kind of panicked because there was no light in the house. <laughs> she started pant panting, and she does not like the dark, believe it or not. So I did not have to pair my clock, but sometimes when we lose power, I do have to pair the clock. It's easy. Hope this helps. I'm going to jump off here. I'm adding a couple other Amazon videos right now, so we'll just go ahead and upload this next. Have a great one, guys.